decay, a time constant about 200 milliseconds. Sometimes there is series of decays with short-living isotopes. Iron chamber, it is at high voltage. Inside is a cotton filter filled with dust and central electrode. And here is high voltage capacitor charged at 300 volts. We disconnect it before opening the box. Circuit is based on electrometer op operational amplifier. The feedback resistor is 3 giga ohm because I did not have 200 giga ohm. And the trick is to use voltage divider on the output, which uh, makes efficiently this feedback resistor larger by a factor of 100. Uh, 100 ohms uh, protect against self oscillation. Faraday cap is uh, at high voltage, uh, 300 volts, uh, so it is dangerous to touch and uh, should be careful not to touch the uh, middle wire uh, to the Faraday cap wall. Uh, that will electrocute the amplifier. Output pulse is about 200 milliseconds long and 20 millivolts in amplitude. In the box we see a 3 giga ohm resistor, operational amplifier, uh, two batteries supplying plus and minus voltage, and basically that's it. And here in the hole goes a central electrode. Capacitor is charged to 300 volts uh, by connecting to 220 volt mains. And after charging, it is carefully connected to the Faraday cup. In the Faraday cup, we see cotton sample uh, with black soot from filtered air, and it contains some uh, radon decay uh, products. So we close the cup, uh, switch on amplifier, and uh, on scope. See pulses. Uh, sometimes uh, uh, decay happens to short lived isotopes, and there is a small shower of uh, radioactive counts. Uh, if it is just room air, the counts uh, are very seldom, uh, so I use uh, pre concentrated uh, radioactivity on cotton. Uh, sample using vacuum cleaner. Uh, 